Viacom cable system. The following is a community production. The views and opinions expressed therein are those of the producers and or participants and do not necessarily reflect those of the board of directors, the staff of Access Dayton, or Viacom Cablevision. Somebody has stolen my Dodge 024. Rip me off. The question is, how, how you gonna get the match? One time. I'll change. You call the taxi and the cops. What is he? Her 
over here, Mr. Trug. You know he's always late. But this is ridiculous. I told him three weeks in advance. He promised he'd be here. Miss Cottrell, does Mr. Lee still intend to fight? He'll be here any minute. Well, I'm giving him five minutes, and then I'm canceling the match. Miss Blake, those are the rules. The rules you agreed to, Miss Cottrell. But you can't do this. William Lee will be here, and he'll prove that he's better. Miss Blake, what's wrong? Has William Lee decided not to fight my student? He's a chicken. He's no good. You'll eat those words. Five minutes, Miss Cottrell, and no more. William Lee gets a chance to fight the champion of the Midwest, and he doesn't even show up. Do you know how bad this is going to make Cottrell Productions look? There he is now. Ah. It's about time. Where have you been? Car got stolen. That's the best lie you've told yet. He ain't lying. He was stolen right off the garage. Car or no car, you should have been here an hour ago. We're ready, Miss Blake. Very well, gentlemen. Get ready to fight. I thought you took it out. You should have stayed home. we we'll make you sorry you came. <laughs> Who are these clowns? <laughs> you. Okay, enough. Mr. Lee, this is Chang and Key, champions of the Midwest, and Mr. Marks. I don't think you're any good. I think you need a new rule on the odor. Enough <laughs> talk, gentlemen. Get ready to start. You're getting him angry, Lee. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't care how angry the bum gets. Just be careful, Lee. Good luck, Mr. Lee. Well, how about a good luck wish, Miss Control? Good luck, William Lee. Okay, gentlemen, go for it. Get out of the way. trail to you and frankly I don't care. Good day, Mr. Lee. CW. Follow with them. I don't know. Did you know you had an incredible way with women? Yeah. Damn up. <laughs> but uh she is soften up man. Yeah. She doesn't kill me first. Let's go get a pizza. And I tell you my brother has been missing for four days. Now Kelly look, you know how your brother is. He's probably off with his girlfriend. She hasn't seen him either. I think he's been kidnapped. Now, wait a minute. Let's not jump to conclusions. He'll turn up soon. Well, the least you could do is put out a missing persons report. We already have. Now, why don't you go home and relax, and we'll call you as soon as anything turns up. You're no help. Man, what is taking them so long, man? You know, car's been missing for four days. What if they found it yet? They should have by now. God, don't take that long for nothing. Mm. Next. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sorry about that. James! Oh, you're okay! Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, you're not James. <laughs> I'm glad you figured that out. I was getting confused for a second. What kind of joke is this? 
Is this your idea of a joke? Kelly, what are you talking about? You send this guy in who looks like my brother to try to make me think I'm going crazy. But it won't work. Kelly! You have to excuse her. She's quite upset. I say. You see, I have an incredible way of women. Hey, you William Lee. You made all the papers when you beat those experts four days ago. Nah, that was nothing. Don't let him fool you. He's good. <laughs> Hell, he's fantastic. Hey, thanks. Well, I hate to interrupt this mutual admiration society, but I did come from my car. Okay. Sign this release form, and she's all yours. Please don't say she, man. I tell you, look, I've been having with women lately. There you go. Okay. Ah. The officer at the impoundment gate has your keys, and you can pick it up there. Okay, thanks a lot. Come on, see you yeah. Hey, Yo, boss. The next girl is here again. She's gonna be a problem. And Frame Lee isn't gonna be easy either. Okay. Just let me know when you want the job done. Yes, sir. Tonight? Okay. Chang and Key. What about it? You see how good you are. Y'all better beat it, punks. Shut up, fag, and get your head beat in. Got some cheerful punks. Let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> safe in the police parking lot. You ain't safe nowhere. I know something. Things are beginning to smell fishy. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
And it wasn't in his handwriting. She said, I am not hysterical. Please listen to me. Sales projections. We're ready to market a full line of Winley brand named items. I don't think Mr. Lee would like that idea. As I understand it, he detests all brand names in designer clothes. That's true. He only wears no name baggies. It's a fetish of his. 
He likes to be different apart from the rest, but he'll get used to it. And if he doesn't, we'll market a whole line of William Lee no-name baggies. <laughs> This deal is going to make Cottrell Productions very, very rich. What about Mr. Lee? Oh, don't worry about him. Our boss is paying him a lot more than either of us will see in a lifetime. I can't stand that man. Mr. Lee? Yes. This deal is going to make Cottrell Productions millions. My division, Cottrell Fashions, will become somewhat more prestigious, and you and I might see a small increase in our welfare size check. <coughs> but William Lee, He's going to get over 500,000 plus gratuities, just right for his egotistical nature. Oh, take it easy, boss. All this pressure's got you keyed up. I just don't think I can take much more of this William Lee. This egomaniac is driving me nuts. Well, the contract with Lee is over after the fight in Nevada. Hold out till then. You may get to like him. <laughs> Not likely. It's getting late, Karen. You better pull the car out. Okay. Get away from me! We don't want to wreck. We don't want to be late either. Alright, we're going to be there on time. The way you drive, right. you will. <laughs> here you go, see that. <laughs> what's what's who's that? Ain't that that girl? That's her, man. Let's go. Alright, hold it. Ain't that kind of fear two punks on one little girl? Get out of here, punk. You're the punk. The sooner you ask for it. Alright. <laughs> Yeah! Oh boy. Let her go. We're not gonna hurt you, you wanna help. Where are we going? Come on, wait from here, fast. To before. Police station on Wednesday, the name was William Lee, not James. This is CW. I know. I suppose you want to know what that was about. Well, I'd like to, but right now I've got an appointment. Am I too late to register? William! I knew I could get you to call him by my first name. Just sign in and cut the comedy, okay? All right. Everything all set? Everything's done. You're Anita Cottrell, aren't you? Yes, I am. Ah, Queen of Fashion. Thank you. Is she a friend of yours, Lee? Yes, Anita Cottrell. Me, Kelly Nixon. Glad to meet you. <laughs> well, we have a meeting to attend. Right. A few ladies excuses from it. See them? You take Kelly to your place. If I can't get a ride from the Queen of Fashion, I'll call it. I got anything up there? Yeah, I'm worried about those thugs. Make sure you're not following. Goodbye, Miss Cottrell. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Nice kid. Too bad she had to hook up with you. What's wrong with me? Aren't you coming? Yeah, boss. Cottrell Productions took the job. If it were up to me, we never would have met. 
But control was different. Yeah, but you own control fashion, so the choice had to be yours. I own control fashions, but not control production. It's an adopted name, really. My real name is Anita Marie. But to the world, I am the queen of fashion, Anita Cottrell. Cottrell Productions owns me. Sorry to hear it. I think a free spirit like you would have more guts than to follow orders from some company. It's nothing to do with how I feel, Mr. Lee. It's good publicity to be seen with Kung Fu star William Lee, the man of all men. With all this publicity, we'll be able to market a full line of William Lee designer jeans, jackets, sweatsuits. Oh, well, let's not forget Kung Fu uniforms and supplies. You really have a sincere hate for me, don't you? Yes, because you're too darn egotistical. I'm not like that at all. And why do you go around the country fighting in glamorous tournaments? Why do you get a thrill out of displaying your machoism? For the very same reason you try for queen of fashion every year. It puts bread on my table. Touché, Mr. Lee. Damn it, Nina, why do you have to be so formal? I'll bring the car around. I think I just heard a car. so many people looking for you. I don't know. I'm really, really scared. It'll be all right, Kelly. We'll find your brother. Kelly, your search for James has hit on something a little deeper than just his disappearance. And someone's afraid you'll find out what that something is. And somehow, I'm implicated. Wow. Yeah, how are you implicated? I have two days before I have to leave for that tournament. 
and I'm going to get to the bottom of this whole mess. Wait a minute. I don't want you to get any more involved in this than you already are. <laughs> Miss Cottrell, you don't own me. As long as I'm your promoter, I do own you. Now, just Wait a minute. Just stop it. Just stop it. Right? It's not worth it. Don't cry. I'm just giving myself up. I just don't care anymore. We're fine, you brother. I'll handle this together. Come on. <laughs> we got problems. I say we got three or four problems with that new girl. Man, I think she's gonna be safer here with you. They're gonna be watching my place. We should be safe here until the trouble blows on. Good. How's Kelly? Better, but she's still scared. She'll be all right after she rests for a little while. What are you looking for? My keys. I'm going to my place to get a few things for her since it looks like she'll be here for a while. That's risky. Yeah, that's very risky. I'll take it. I'll be all right. Where are those keys? Here. But I'm coming with you. If they see you, they'll know something's up. Not if my car is here and I'm hiding on the back seat of your car. That's a good idea, but that'd be still risky. <sighs> okay, Superwoman, here. To assuage your masculine temperament, Mr. Lee, I'll call you as soon as I get there. I'll leave the phone off the hook. If you hear any trouble, you can be there before they can try anything. I'll be there if you're not back within 15 minutes anyway. I'll be right back. That's one stubborn lady. Hello, Lee? Yeah, I'm here. All right, hold on. I'm going upstairs. 